hello everyone welcome back to finastrotrader.com channel and uh, let's take a quick look at what's ahead for the markets uh, you know we've been hearing a lot about uh, coronavirus lately you know the heart goes out to uh, the people that are suffering in china and uh, you know hopefully everything goes away smoothly but i just wanted to talk about that from a financial astrology perspective um, you know few months back you know so i had tweeted that as soon as i posted this video on youtube uh, saying that the saturn is just about to enter capricorn and then the characteristic of uh, saturn entering um, capricorn because every time saturn enters that particular sign it brings a lot of changes to the global markets actually you know so and i have in this video if you haven't watched it you can watch that in my youtube channel you know so saturn in politics and markets you know going back to 1930s you know the great depression level and then i had talked about it at length as uh, the the changes that it can bring to the market financial markets actually you know so because saturn exhibits certain characteristics as it enters capricorn and it's kind of shakes up the global market every time it has happened you know so and it, it, it reaches capricorn you know it comes to full, full circle uh, and enters capricorn every 30 years you know because saturn takes about 30 years to go around sun okay so i talked about that and then i had uh, posted this you know saying that it you may want to watch out for that event um, because it can shake up the financial market um, and it sure did you know it brought coronavirus with it actually you know so if you look at it the extent of it you know it's uh, it's pretty uh, serious you know even though we get only a small portion of the news but you know you can see that 250 million quarantine and 1.5 million confirmed you know this is like as of last week you know so there is a uh, you know there is a video about uh, the whistleblower you know to uh, about this final uh, about the coronavirus talking about this the extent at which you know the government uh, chinese government is controlling or suppressing the information so it's a lot more serious than uh, what we hear here okay and uh, as we know that it has shaken up the financial markets in asia and uh, uh, we haven't seen the effect in uh, us just yet because us market is still powering higher but it doesn't mean that eventually it's going to happen in us market as well you know so i did talk about it that uh, now when i talked about it you know so coronavirus was the last thing that i had in my mind you know and of course you know so we had a couple of issues with china you know trade war that was happening and also uh, hong kong revolution and things like that so i talked about i posted this video from that perspective um, but uh, you know many people were wondering you know so what could bring the us market down you know because it's powering higher you know it's uh, extremely strong and oh boy you know there is one just virus that can just cause so much of panic across the world just think about that okay so um so this video is about you know so uh, why did it happen and what's ahead for china and also for the global markets and how you can take advantage of it okay so and you know there is opportunities everywhere right you know so every time saturn now saturn that's the characteristic of saturn saturn sweeps the 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 field basically it's kind of plows the field you know and uh, so that you know the, the 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 new harvest can grow you know and that's what it does you know so is it not all negative you know so saturn also brings a uh, lot of uh, uh, growth as well you know so but on the later part of the period so uh, this is january calendar that we have so you see that january 23rd see this 22nd wednesday saturn was in sagittarius you can see that here too saturn was in sagittarius here okay and then 23rd it entered capricorn okay so 23rd saturn entered capricorn right here because okay, you can see saturn saturn in 0 0.02 degree in capricorn okay and two days before that the news about coronavirus broke out okay so just two days before that coronavirus uh, news broke out okay and uh, you know you can see that from uh, this uh, etf here you know something that we watch uh, if we can show you that real quick here so uh this guy right here uh it's called uh yan okay that's bear in okay in in yan yan okay so you can see that in direction daily um footsie china bull okay 
and it was happily moving up you know so as you can see you can see the date at the bottom you know 113 at, it put in a high and then it you know it pulled back a little bit retested and then this is when it came down 0121 two days before Saturn, Saturn transition that news broke out and that kind of caused this in to correct about about uh, that's about 20% correction right there 20% correction and then eventually as the coronavirus uh, gained strength you can see that it came down pretty much pretty much about yeah it's about 40% correction actually okay so yeah if not 50% so about 40% so 30% 40% correction okay and then you know recently just got a bounce a little bit okay so this just tells you that you know so the impact of Saturn as soon as it transitioned to Capricorn okay as soon as it transitioned to Capricorn the coronavirus news broke out and that's rattled the uh, Chinese market and the most of the Asian markets as well okay now US hasn't seen that effect of it yet just yet but it's coming okay so it's coming okay so don't fall asleep behind the wheel okay thinking that you know us is not going to be impacted eventually us will also get impacted okay so which means that this this etf or any other etfs that you have you know anytime you get a bounce that is shortable okay it's shortable okay so so why does it happen because you know the uh, as i said that in my previous videos that each area controls a certain industry actually okay you know so one of the things that we do is analyze the uh, the birth chart of companies and countries you know so if you are trading emerging markets and things like that you want to know which countries are going to prosper which countries are going to suffer okay so we do analyze uh, countries birth charts and companies birth charts to see which countries are likely to prosper on a you know long term horizon basically you know so like a five years ten years down the road etc okay so i did that analysis and then that's when i posted that video uh, previously in back in november okay so i did the analysis and i saw that china is likely to go through trouble why because if you look at chinese birth chart this is how it looks okay so china was formed on october 1st 1949 okay beijing china 301 pm okay local time okay that's when china the country was born okay and that time you know so so any time a country or an entity is born we look at this ascendant you know that's basically the the sign that shows up in the east at the time of birth so as you can see here china was born in capricorn basically capricorn sign okay and uh, then so so for a long term perspective we look at something called the mahadashas you know so the 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 period that each planet has we control okay and there are certain periods that uh, you know we can analyze that actually you know so it was born on moon and then it changed to mars rahu jupiter and saturn started 1999 to 2018 now this was pretty much it was pretty good for saturn because in what see the capricorn lord is okay so ascendant represents the physical body of an entity okay be a person or a country or a company doesn't matter okay so it represents the physical body you know so as you can see that saturn is the phys represents the physical body of china and now the second house from you know if you are going clockwise second house from that ascendant is aquarius aquarius lord is also saturn so that saturn on the second house second house represents cash and reserves and income and things like that so it is supposed to bring a lot of money saturn is supposed to bring a lot of money for uh, china and that's what we have during this saturn period china really became a superpower just as much as us was okay so this is where it really took off and then you know it's just kind of uh, you know so pretty much it was challenging us uh, for the number one position you know to be the superpower right and uh, so it really happened during that saturn period now the thing is that at the end of 2018 saturn showed this characteristic you know so as we know that saturn creates scarcity too okay saturn just kind of gives a knock okay it just gives a hit on everyone okay and uh, so it did that in 2018 2018 january is when actually trade war problems started started from there trade war started 2018 january and then continued on last year 2019 was year of uh, hong kong revolution and this year uh, coronavirus Okay, so so every year you can see that something or the other is happening now Saturn has transitioned back in 2018 December it transitioned 
okay saturn mahadasha period is over but you know what it has basically handed over the baton to to mercury mercury is actually doing the job of saturn right now okay so right now china is in mercury uh, mahadasha now if you look at it at the time of uh, birth mercury was in its uh, ninth house okay and also in its sixth house one two three four five six house okay gemini lord is also mercury and virgo lord is also mercury so mercury was both you know so and now sixth house represents illnesses actually so as soon as mercury mahadasha started guess what china f started feeling sick okay and uh, coronavirus is a result of it actually okay this is something that the saturn has brought to china okay now the thing is that this it's going to get this is not going to be over until 2035 actually you can see that mercury period is not over until 2035 okay i would say that as long as that saturn is here okay 2.5 and then uh, after 2.5 years it's going to be here so another two two and a half to five years china is going to go through some turmoil okay something or the other will always keep happening to china and the thing is that china being the biggest exporter of the world you know so it can impact the global markets too so just be mindful just be careful okay and because you know what as saturn entered you know as we know as i showed you that saturn entered uh, capricorn on 23rd january so when saturn enters saturn not only that impacts the sign that it enters and also it impacts there are other signs is such as this so saturn not only impacts the the sign that it has entered also impacts other signs also okay that is basically third third house from where it's at basically from where it has entered third house then the seventh house and then the tenth house so if you look at it that is basically pisces cancer and then libra now let's look at the characteristic of pisces cancer and libra if you look at the character i think i have shown this before in some of the videos if you look at it these are the controlling areas you know each house has or each uh, sign has a controlling domain or industry that it impacts actually you know as the planets transition through these signs and they impact these industries so all we need to do is which planet is transitioning which sign and then you know hey just keep an eye out for those industries actually it's very easy to trade that way okay so if you look at it so saturn you know so so here i have this saturn entered capricorn saturn impact is impacting pisces and it's going to stay there for 2.5 years okay so it's not going to get out of capricorn until 22 or 22 later part of uh, 22 okay 2022 okay pisces cancer and libra so if you look at it the controlling areas are import or uh, imports and exports as we know that china is the biggest exporter in the world right so it impacted that with the just with that you know as soon as the mercury mahadasha started and saturn transition both happened okay so mercury mahadasha started 2018 last year and then the saturn transition happened these industries got impacted export industry and then there is a manufacturing and also actually manufacturing and this is manufacturing and transportation okay transportation okay so so manufacturing and transportation as we know that the pretty much all over the globe people stopped you know or at least fear of traveling right now you know so most of the travel industries are hit and we took advantage of it actually you know so we traded we we are we are trading only the the transportation industry at the moment right now in our trading room okay i'll show you that and then this industry retail and judiciary now this is hasn't impacted much but it's going to come in picture later okay i'll release a third video probably uh, sometime later and i'll talk about this at that time but right now these are these industries are impo uh, impacted exports and this transportation industry okay and how so how did we take advantage of this you know so so we watch uh, some of the uh, transportation talks you know so, such as um uh, you know as i said that you can trade this you know the uh, yin and yang okay you can trade that anytime it just kind of uh, bounces back to a moving average or something like that you can short it okay and that's one way to take advantage of it but what we did was we uh, you know one of the things that we look at is uh, 
uh, travel stocks you know so one of them is my favorite is bkng booking.com okay booking.com so we we traded this actually okay so we saw that this got impacted very heavily because of as soon as that 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 uh, coronavirus news broke out as you can see that it, this also impacted see that 121 you know when that coronavirus you know it, this was happily moving up all time high okay and then quickly started falling okay and then it came down and then you can pretty much it came down and hit 2019 low it briefly broke that low too so fresh low was was put in actually before it started bouncing so we didn't catch this move down you know we were trading other uh, tickers that time but we traded this bounce okay this bounce to this and then we waited and then from this bounce you know we are in this uh, bounce right now okay we just exited you know uh, the other day okay I'll show you my account you know so I'll show you the uh, so this is this is the first trade that we did you know so uh, 1850 1890 calls you know so got in at uh, about 1621 uh, capital uh, deployed and then pretty much doubled okay so so 100 percent more than 100 percent okay and uh, you can i can show you the account here so this is the trade you know two was two or three started three days later exited okay you can see it doubled basically okay 1621 debit credit 32 10 okay so that's one way we took advantage now we'll continue to trade these travel stocks okay why because as long as saturn is in that in that capricorn it's going to impact these industries actually okay and so so if you precisely now you need to know when you can trade that okay because you may get some bounces right along the way right and uh, uh, as I showed you here, uh, you can see this bounce. You know, these are all big moves, folks. You know, these are all hundred dollar moves actually, and that's why I love this stock. Okay, hundred dollar move. That's ten thousand dollars basically. Okay, calls or puts. You know, and we waited for this retracement right down to this retracement, and then we picked up second entry. We are in the second entry. That's also looking pretty nicely. I can show you the risk graph here. This is the second trade that we have on that. You can see that I am up by about fifteen hundred dollars on that one too. Okay, and uh, investor total invested was twenty one twenty five. Okay, so this is how we take advantage of these you know so situations, and we'll continue. To, all we need is just one or two stocks. We can just keep going up and down, you know. And you need to know precisely when it is going to move up, and when it's going to uh, retrace, and when it's going to bounce back up, and things like that. And that is something that I do uh, in my trading room. You know, I analyze every single or week actually these stocks you know these uh, uh, export industry transportation industry and things like that individual talks uh, tickers which one is likely to move up which one is likely to reverse and which one is going to go sideways etc you know and uh, and then i call out the trades and then uh, pick up a position and people piggyback on my uh, position you know that's how i help my mentees to uh, be consistently profitable using financial astrology so i just wanted to you know quickly um, throw this video out there uh, just to show you uh, that China's problems are not done yet it will continue to uh, uh, create troubles for China and also the global market because China is one of the leaders uh, in the world you know when it comes to uh, or one of the economic powerhouses uh, it will continue to create problems okay and um, US hasn't uh, felt the brunt of that yet but eventually uh, it'll reach up, uh, you know, uh, across the pond uh, to our shores as well. Okay, so just trade carefully. And um, uh, so if you really want to know, um, you know, which days you can trade these and uh, which particular day is going to bounce, which particular day you can go short, etc. Uh, you can subscribe to my uh, mentorship program, uh, you know, my mentorship program is listed here you can subscribe to my mentorship program it comes with a money back guarantee which means that we don't make any money you know I'll return that money back basically okay this is like a three months twenty four hundred dollars and any month you don't make any money I'll return that for that um, uh, for that particular month okay and I've been getting a lot of requests from India also I started a new service very discounted price for India this is basically uh, predicting Indian markets Okay, only Indian equities, Indian indices, along with the other commodities such as crude oil, gold, uh, bonds, 
um, and soybeans etc you know and uh, so if you want to subscribe for Indian market you could do that and uh, it's a very discounted price actually it comes out to be around 12,000 Indian rupees basically okay so 10,000 to 12,000 Indian rupees okay and that's what it is you know so that's what I have priced it at and uh, which is very reasonable and uh, um, so if you if you like to trade the crude oil gold futures etc um, you can I can give you access to my trading room as well you know you can come into my trading room and uh, you can trade along with me crude oil, I do trade crude oil uh, gold etc and uh, I can you can follow uh, along you know so my entries and exits and I can help you make money okay so hope it makes sense to you and until the next video and just trade carefully talk to you later